and my head says no. Oh God, that's such a weird, such a weird, horrible feeling. A couple of weeks ago, we made a video about the various Victorian attempts to bridge and tunnel the English Channel. Now we clambered around the cliff edges for the entire day and I was starkly reminded of my fear of heights or perhaps vertigo. Now in researching this I came across the Langdown Stairs, a rather ropey looking zigzag path sat around 80 metres above the beach below. So what better way to attempt to cure this vertigo than to scale the Langdown Stairs? A quick look on the OS maps and you can see the route down. Flip over to Google Maps and looking from this view it really gives you a sense of scale but perhaps this picture really shows you the sheer slope involved. Now there isn't a great deal of history to be found on the interweb save a few references to people falling to their early untimely death but in modern history 1821 seems to be the earliest newspaper reference I can find. A man broke his leg. Okay wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you. Back in 2016, I think it was, Rebecca and I went to Wales and we went to Anglesey uh, amongst other places. Now, when we were at Anglesey, I uh, went to, I think it was a lighthouse and I started to walk down the cliff edge there on the pathway and all of a sudden my whole body went to jelly. Really weird feeling I can't describe. Apparently it turned out that's what people refer to as vertigo. So I Googled vertigo. How do you get over vertigo? Now, a lot of the solutions were all about dizzy, your inner ear, having problems with balance, dust in your inner ear, that sort of thing. And I thought, well, I'm not dizzy as such. I'm just like, my whole body's going really, really weird. So yes, it's vertigo, but perhaps not in a different sense. It just means that when I get near a cliff edge, everything goes a bit weird. My whole body goes kind of like jelly. So I thought, how do we overcome that? And uh, as I say, I Googled that solution, which was apparently to just uh, look at something very close to you, maybe sort of two meters away. So the vertigo that um, I experience in that circumstance is when your your eyes don't necessarily match with uh, the, the cl close proximity surrounding. So if you look at something sort of far away and down, it can give you that mixed feeling of, of vertigo. So I thought, what better way to try and tackle that than come down the laying down steps. So these are the laying down steps and uh, the bottom part of which collapsed uh, just a few years ago. So in order to navigate it, you need to uh, go into a tunnel that was built thereafter. Now already I'm looking down in front of me and uh, whew, heart rate's getting a little bit high. So first question, to you is would you go down laying down steps now at the moment I think I'm okay because I'm talking to you so I'm concentrating at the camera um, but if I look to my left I wonder how comfortable I would feel so let's concentrate on the geology look at this uh, layer of flint straight line layer of flint in the uh, in the cliff edge there and uh, I can see ahead of me all these wonderful straight line layers of flint that's that stuff I don't know how far I'm going to get people. This might not even be a video. What's really tricky about this is I keep on having to stop now because every so often my head says what if you get vertigo and you have to go back up and you can't because you're just stuck um, which is not helpful um, but nevertheless give me enough fear to question myself and how how far I should be going down here 
wobbly fence doesn't help either. Um, okay. There's another one, two, three, four, five, six zigzags to go, and my head says no. couldn't do it, had a mini panic attack. Not afraid to, uh, or ashamed to say that. It's just a thing, isn't it? Um, how would you get over that kind of vertigo? It's not dizzy, it's just a feeling of um, sort of panic and wobbliness. Impending doom. Impending doom and, yeah, and just sheer wobbliness. So how do you get over that? Have you been down laying down steps? Would be amazing to hear your stories. Uh, my feeling is that I could do it. If I knew what the, the the sea um, tide times were, and I researched that and I knew there was a way out down the bottom, I think I would probably be all right because I think going down is fine, but all of a sudden when I started thinking about going back up, that's when it could have hit the most. Maybe a bit of hypnosis, what do you reckon, Rebecca? Give it a go. <laughs> People swear by that sort of thing. Yeah, they? they do, so you know, it's psychological, not physical. Yeah. Almost certainly. Definitely. Um, Take care of you. Right, so whether this turns into a little video or not, I don't know. Uh, but from the laying down steps near Dover, love to hear your stories of the laying down steps. Do you have the kind of vertigo that I have? Uh, have you been down them? Have you been up them? Uh, tell us your stories. I was fully expecting to find a tunnel down the bottom, because there is one, because huh? even that sign down there says so. Hmm. Right, see you next time.